Today I get out of this wheelchair and I walk. Just a little bit. But I still walk. Hey my wheelie sloth friends, this is John Mitchell. And today, I'm taking on my arch nemesis, also known as a full body gym workout, also known as the walker. Yeah, I had that bad boy for the last eight or nine years and it's gotten me around where I needed to go. But here's the thing, I'm gonna show you today how I walk. Now I'm gonna do two different styles, one barefoot and then one with shoes and braces on. So you can see the difference on how I walk. It is not flattering. I am apologizing right now in, in advance. But the cool thing is, I can still get out of the wheelchair, I can still walk just a little bit. It's all that matters. So in the first video, what you're going to see is me walking without shoes and socks. Um, and what I'm going to do, or what will happen actually, is you'll see when I, I, I walk hunched over. Um, we tried uh, with physical therapy in, the, in years past to stand me up straight to walk. And it does not work. I tried and I tried. Uh, my body just says, nope, we're not standing up. So I learned how to walk the way I walk now. Um, you'll see that I have what's called a drop foot. Um, but both feet are dropped, actually. So without shoes and socks, all I can really do is slide my feet across the floor. If the floor is dirty, it can hurt. But you'll see. So here it is, I'm hunched over, I'm walking without shoes and socks on, my feet are sliding across the floor. Enjoy. Okay, here's the next video. The next video, I actually have um, my shoes and my braces, which are AFOs. They come up to my calf um, and they hold my feet in place. So you'll see me actually lifting my feet a little bit um, to walk around. And you'll actually see how I get out of the wheelchair. Uh, and then once I'm out of the chair, I always have to um, fix the cushion which you'll see in the video, and then tilt the chair forward so that way when I come back, I can just sit down. Otherwise, I'm sitting in a, like a, like a, a hole um, because it's a gel cushion seat and all it wants to do is create a hole in the middle of it. So I don't like that and so I always flatten out the cushion first and then I, and then I go and do what I need to do and then I come back. But you'll see with the shoes and braces, the, the AFOs, um, that I actually walk still hunched over, but you'll see me lift my feet up now because the braces hold my feet in place 
and I can actually do a little bit more. Um, you also see how skinny my arms are. You'll actually see how heavy set I am. And yes, that's a big factor in why I don't walk as much. I need to lose the weight, working on it, and I said. So, on to video number two. Enjoy. So you saw me walk without shoes and braces. Then you saw me walk with shoes and braces. I hope you see the difference in how my legs work. Um, I hope that um, if anything, uh, you guys can uh, get something from this. Uh, maybe you've been trying to figure out a way to get your body to work a little extra. Maybe I showed you something you can actually do. Um, what are ways that you get around? Um, do you strictly stay in the wheelchair? Uh, do you wear, do you have artificial legs? Do you wear leg braces? Do you use crutches? Do you use a cane? What are ways that you get around? So my two ways, wheelchair and the scooter, or so the, the walker. So, um, just so I, I show you all that. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, um, oh, before I leave you today, in the description, I've added an area, uh, well, a link uh, that you can donate. Um, my goal is I'm trying to raise money so I can eventually get merchandise, uh, get a website up, get merchandise, and be able to sell stuff. Um, and if you can donate to that, it's via PayPal. Uh, do what you got to do with that. Um, the other one, the other link on there is for um, the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Um, I have muscular, muscular dystrophy, type FSH, and so if you are able to donate to them, it's another great cause. Uh, it helps me out in the end, uh, whether it's buying new equipment, uh, whether it's testing, whether it's a medicine, who knows? Uh, all the money goes and they funnel it out. So again, until we see you next time, just try to remember, do something good for someone else.
because you never know what that person is going through. Until we see each other again, I want to wish you all a happy day and an awesome day, actually, at that. And talk to you then. Bye-bye.